what's up GG cool bros back today to play Kogmo the water shit spinning vomiting monster here are the runes, masteries, skill distribution, and items that you'll need to be the shittiest Kogmao in history. Laning phase! When you're bot, wait until your support charge on the enemies to use your Paw Acid Sniper Vomit Combo while spitting on the archer from far away. You should wait until your support pay that blitz and do a Ghost Ball Combo to whoop him. Then, Acid Sniper Combo miss sexy for a hot one night stand. When your jungler is ganking bot, Go sniper combo that blitz and finish your force down with a vomit. Then move on to me sexy because that robot didn't quite satisfy you. When a greedy idiot comes to kill your support, dirty him with everything you have to make him regret coming down here. If that same idiot comes to hunt you, dirty him with an acid ball, vomit, vomit, speed, vomit, flash, vomit combo to finish off that second one night stand and beauty. If you want a third one night stand with him, separate yourself from your team and dirty him like always. A fourth white knight stand requires four people for a great night. To kill a giant rat, vomit on him so you'll be able to see him if he tries to go invisible. If you're alone, whoop that farming croco with a ball speed vomit speed combo to piss him off. If he still doesn't understand that he can't farm peacefully, you should piss him off once again. Skill tips! Your love suicide skill, just like their name implies, will let you bring your loved one to hell with you. Let it be a woman, a girly kiddo, a flashing robot, or a love triangle, no one will escape from your clutch. But, to be sure you bring someone to hell with you, make them think you're going for daggers and turn back at the last second to bring your biological father down. Your sniper skill will let you kill that dragon while being on the safe side of the wall, or whoop that robot on Red Bull, no problem. Your vomit skill is great to farm dying minions without putting yourself in danger. Finish off a kiddo that can't rocket jump. Kill Malfit before Nunu's snowball and throw up the enemies we call from far away. Um, I mean... Kill an enemy from far away. Find out that Annie and Warwick are making out in the brush. And find out that they're doing it once again in another brush. Combine your vomit ball sniper combo if you're lazy to kill the golem normally. Your flash spell is awesome to ruin that kiddo's life. To finish up that KS master. To whoop as will while running from the enemies and send your father to hell. Your ghost skill is the best to chase some running frozen rocks and to kite on his boyfriend while avoiding a threesome with a dirty cow. Dirty ninja genki. Spit on that karma while she gets stunned and taunt and dirty her more with a ball in the back. Your speed will be so strong that you whoop your target even before Darius managed to last hit him. If you find the same coco that tried to farm early, wait until your ally comes to enjoy a dirty threesome. If Annie tries to face check the brush, dirty her so much that Warwick will stop making out in the brush with her. Shoot your ball vertically to make Darius take a long detour and finish him off with a vomit spit vomit spit combo. Team fights! In any team fight, your job is to stay in the back to kill everyone while your allies are being used as punching bags. If you are going for a double kill, go for the tank first since you are a tank killer and chase after that dirty kiddo for an easy ash pig. If you are going for a triple kill, use your ghost and spit on everyone you can. While your whole team is chasing a dying Darius, you should stay here and dirty anyone that tries to chase your allies. And since you're the shittiest Kogma in history, show everyone that you can get a triple kill without the help of your team. If you are going for a quadra kill, whoop that semi tanky Darius first, then move on to Udia. After that, use your ghost to chase down that Karma to kill that fuckabish and Darius while Malfi tanks the tower. If you're going for a pentakill, engage Byron to bait the enemies. Then, as usual, stay in the back while your allies become the enemy's punching bag and kill anyone that's low on health. If you fail to have the fifth kill because of Jace, finish off that Byron and voila, you have a pentakill. Great success. That's it for today, people. Don't forget to check out my channel for more boring League of Legends videos. Feel free to leave a comment in any language you want, but don't only answer those in English and in French because I'm a racist fuckabitch. Ciao!